So I am officially on my way to New York City Comic Con. I'm walking to the train station right now. I'm gonna go grab the train. It's gonna be an awesome day. Wanna say what's up to the NBA family? Everybody's chilling. Only law season. Everybody, everybody in the middle Everybody's in the middle of doing stuff. Day one in the books. Day one. There goes Tom. Hi Tom. Okay. So it's first stop here, just got to Comic Con. So I'm here with the awesome Bun, who's also known for awesome fan art that he always has at all these conventions. Bun, how's Comic Con been treating you, brother? Yeah, Comic Con is fantastic, fantastic, as always, you know. What can you expect in New York, right? Oh yeah. Uh, tell us, what's some of your inspiration? Uh, my father, my father was an artist, so uh, he led me down this path of uh, artistical ability. And obviously my greatest inspiration is my wife and my child. You know, and we have another one on the way, so uh, it's really make it, driving my house away. Congratulations to you, you and your wife. And where can we find some of your stuff online? Uh, Facebook.com, backslash, forward slash, different slash, Bun Long Art. <laughs> or uh, Instagram, B-U-N-L-E-U-N-G-A-R-T. So again, we want to wish you an awesome Comic Con weekend. I wish you the best. And again, thank you for taking the time talking to us. And again, you have a good one. You too, oh, guys. Yeah. So I'm here with <laughs> Jermaine on <laughs> um, the road. How's everything, Jermaine? Doing good. How you doing? Uh, how's Comic Con been treating you? Pretty good so far. That's doing good. pretty good. Feeling good. Had good signs this morning. It's going to be a good show for me. Oh. So this is some of Jermaine's art right here, guys. Um, you'll see the link on the um, YouTube channel on the bottom. Check his stuff out. Um, he's been at Eternal Con, Great Philly, over here in New York City Comic Con. And Tremaine, I just want to wish you happy selling, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice seeing you again, man. Always good. So I'm over here with Blazing Ali. Ali, how's everything today? Everything's great. I'm loving it down here. We're all down here seeing all the great artwork and all the amazing talent here. It's a really great place to be. And I was Comic Con treating you this weekend, brother. It's fantastic. You gotta get your butts down here. It's amazing. You will not be disappointed. There is a lot to see and a lot of great talent. Awesome. So we wanna wish you an awesome Comic Con weekend. Um, where can we find some of your stuff at, brother? You can find me on uh, DeviantArt with uh, kudos, kudos.deviantart.com. And uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can find all my goodies right there. Ali, you have a good one, brother. Thank it's you so much. Thank you. So I'm with have a good Sean one. and I'm with Sean and AK. We're over here. I'm um, checking out their book over here, right? Yeah, kind of City of Walls. Um, can you guys give me a quick synopsis of your book, like breakdown? Yeah, City of Walls is about three kids growing up in this urban metropolis called Kowloon. It's a whole labyrinth of conjoined buildings. It's all run by gangs. And they become friends and decide they're gonna try to run away. Um, and um, how's Comic Con treating you guys? So far, so good. It's crazy, and it's only Thursday. Yeah. It's only Thursday, first day. You guys ready? Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be. We have everything. We finished the entire book, so we got volume one, two, three, and four. Right here. Take a quick look, guys. The website will be on the bottom of the YouTube. Check them out. Where can we find you guys? Can we find you on Instagram? Yeah, can Instagram. Uh, at a.k.lovelace. Uh, we got a Twitter. You can go oh, at, at writer Sean, S H A U A. Check us out at citywalls.com and we're on web too. Perfect. Thank you guys and good luck at the con today. I'm here with Alex and Mark over here at Wayward Raven. How's the con treating you guys today? The con is awesome, man. We are killing it right now. We've got our brand new t-shirts. Let's get a look right here. They go with our webcomic that you might have heard of, Damn Heroes. You guys, check it out. I think it goes with our beer. A couple times on, on the site. There you go. Yeah, you've probably, you've probably heard of it. So we've got that. We have a brand new one shot in Fusion. I did the cover. Alex did the cover, written by uh, Joshua L.A. Jones. Those guys We've got fusion. Horseman and The Ascendant. Horseman will soon be a fully rolled up graphic novel, much like Sign now is. 
There you go, guys. You got signed right there. Completed, finished, and brand new. So we've got that, and uh, you know, brand new T-shirt. And where can and, we? Uh, anybody who buys 15 bucks or more, they go to my homebrew. Free beer. You guys got any more cons you got to combine for the next um, few? We're kicking around the idea of maybe doing one more this year, but uh, I think that's probably going to finish out the year for us. And then looking forward to maybe starting again uh, in Vermont next year. Beautiful. Uh, so you guys, check them out. Wayward Raven. Where can we find you guys? So uh, you can find us at waywardraven.com. Or damnheroes.com. Damnheroes.com. Absolutely. Or you can get signed right in Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Perfect. Thank you guys. Good luck at the cons this weekend. Have Have enjoy. This is DeSantis over here. How's everything today, brother? It's going well. First day of the show. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it picks up even more, but it's been fantastic so far. So, you know, <laughs> New York Comic Con is always, uh, always a blast. Gentlemen Cthulhu, right here, year one. Year two is coming out, volume two. Yeah, the cons been treating you well, brother? Yeah, yeah, it's been good up here with uh, my friend Chris Campana. I had to come by and say what's up again. It's always good to see friends doing well. Thanks again for all the advice you've given me, brother. And again, I wish you good luck this weekend too and um, a great show. Yeah, you too. Thank you. So I'm here with Angel, the original son of Saint. Angel, how is Comic Con treating you? It's treating me actually really good. It's been a great, great first day. Great That's first awesome. day. And um, how's the road been with um, going to these conventions and everything and all that with your style? It's actually been really good, man. I've been getting a lot of love, especially when I go down south, man. Like, you know, everybody seems to like the mashups and stuff like that. So, what's, what's been your most popular piece so far? Today, right now, Mark Hamill as both uh, his iconic characters, Luke Skywalker and uh, the Joker. But what's been some of your inspiration between your work and all that? Well. That's hard to say, man, because I'm, I'm by trade a graphic designer, but I also, you know, I hand sketch and stuff like that, so I wanted to find a way to kind of marry the two, because, you know, guys like Tommy Castillo and, and, and you know, Todd McFarlane, obviously, Jim Lee, stuff like that, who are traditional style artists, have been, you know, great inspirations to me, but I also like the design style guys, like, you know, Angry Blue and Lost Logic and things of that nature, so I wanted to be the guy that kind of marry both, you know what I mean? It's traditional guys don't really like design guys and got design guys who respect the traditional guys so it's, it's it's a weird combination so i kind of <laughs> wanted to be that bridge in between you know what i mean so that's definitely uh what i want to do and where can we find some of your stuff at oh you can go to saintbydesign.com and uh, i'm also on instagram as the underscore son of a saint angel i wish you good luck this weekend brother absolutely brother Happy thank you so selling. much man aziz how's the cut How's it treating you today, the con? Amazing! I mean, anyone who isn't here should be here. Where can we find some of your stuff, my brother? You can find all my stuff on evolutioncomicsinc.com. Or you can find me on Instagram, Evo Comics. That's the trick, though. Beautiful. Good luck at the con this weekend, too, again, guys. Thank you, guys. So, I'm here with Ray, the man, Felix. Greetings. Ray, how's everything? Everything's good. We're in Comic Con. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you guys got going on today. Well, we're promoting uh, Poe is the Raven. That's uh, one of our latest books. It's also this month in the Bronx at the Poe Cottage. We're going to have the original artwork of Poe is the Raven from October 1st all the way to well, October 5th to November 25th. So we have uh, some of the artwork here. It's the story of Edgar Allan Poe living in the Bronx. Right? We have many comic adaptions of Edgar Allan Poe, but very few of the actual man himself. And uh, Poe, here, we take a twist of history and uh, we give him mystical powers. And this is Poe, the superhero, a horror. <laughs> a horror hero who becomes the Raven. As you can see, some horrific things happen. The Raven, never more, right? <laughs> but tell us about um, a little bit about Bronx Heroes. That's one of the first books I got to read from you. So, what was the Raven is Bronx Heroes 3.0, then we had Bronx Heroes 2.0. Bronx Heroes 2.0 is Blood Power, right? And uh, the Roach is over here. These are our Bronx Heroes. And we have Black Power, drawn by Trevor Von Eden and written by me. And Colored and illustrated uh, issue three by me. 
So, Trevor Von Eden created Black Lightning for DC Comics back in 1975. This comic book takes place in 1975, and it's an alternate history of American history uh, where uh, Muhammad X, AKA Muhammad Ali, uh, goes to Vietnam in the war, and he comes back, he ends the war in Vietnam, and then he fights Richard Nixon. The Roach is uh, our character, Lozado, whose father is an exterminator, and he gets killed by a giant roach, and then he gets bitten by this roach and turns into a roach himself, and he becomes the champion of the insects in the Bronx. So he is uh, being trained to be the to stop the insect apocalypse that's going to occur in New York City. So. <laughs> now, Ray, I, I've um, I've known that you um, have been also part of an event that's hosted in the Bronx, featuring like comics and everything at the New York Public Library. Can you tell us a little more about that too? Yes, we've had uh, Bronx Heroes Comic Con as it was around from 2008. All the way to now, it's almost 10 years. And then we have the Women in Comics, uh, it will be our fourth annual uh, convention in March at the New York Public Library. And we're planning to have a 10th anniversary of the Bronx Heroes Comic Con. Yet to find a location, but it's going to definitely be in the South Bronx. So we're hoping to have a bigger venue. So. <laughs> and where can we find some of your stuff, right? www.bxhcc.com which stands for Bronx Heroes Comic Con. <laughs> Good luck at the con this weekend, Ray. It's awesome talking to you. I'm here with Jeff over here at the Darby Pop table. Jeff, what's up, brother? How are you? How's everything going with the con today for you, bro? As always, New York Con is really busy, which we love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the lineup that you guys have for, um, for the fans out here? Sure. So we're Darby Pop Publishing. We're about four years old. We've got about 15 titles so far. The book we just dropped yesterday, actually. It's Bastard's Waltz which is uh, kind of a hitman's bodyguard with superheroes and supervillains. And then just a couple weeks ago, we dropped this book, Things You Shouldn't Remember. The concept is various people are remembering little things, a song title, a movie, that they then go online to try to get more information on, they can't find any record of it ever having existed. But they know it happened. And when they make too much noise, they end up dead. Awesome. Things you shouldn't remember. <laughs> Those are our two newest books. Darby Pop is were pretty awesome. Again, check out their lineup. Officially got some Bruce Lee books here for them too. Only ever authorized Bruce Lee book. And then also too, we have the um, Indestructible series. <laughs> and I got to meet you guys through Jeff and um, Scott. Jeff Mars um, and Scott Jeff Barnett. Scott. Um, Come on around. I actually got introduced to your series by um, Jeff Mars, the guy. Jeff wrote this and we fell so in love with him that we published it's Dead Man's Party. So you got Dead Man's Party right here. That's how do you do that without getting yourself Scott. I want to wish you guys an awesome Comic Con weekend. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Of course. And again, it's always awesome seeing you, brother. Have a great con. So I'm here with this cool guy, Stan, over here, one member of Source Point Press. Also, one of the members of um, I got to meet at Great Philadelphia. Hey, Stan, how you doing today? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Thanks for the interview. So, um, let me ask you, can you tell us a little bit about your book right there, The Rejected? That's right. Rejected, written by myself. Artwork by Corey Anderson. Letters by Micah Myers. This cover is done by Sean Langley. The art style is uh, Jekyll and Hyde meet Calvin and Hobbes. Nice. Perfect for this story. Uh, it's a dark story, it's a dark horror book, and uh, it's about little Billy who's abused, neglected, and basically rejected. Uh, he finds solace in his dreams where he meets with shadows and Mr. Teeth. Uh, they offer him something he can't refuse. He takes that deal and uh, learns that there are consequences to his actions. And what's been some of your inspiration behind your book? Uh, to be completely honest with you, it started out as a five-page warm-up script, and People took notice, people took interest, and I took it to a 56-page graphic novel. Nice. So this is Stan's book, The Rejected. Stan, where can we find um, The Rejected and where can we find you at? All right, it's going to be on Comixology soon. It's at uh, sourcepointpress.com, and you can find me on all social media at The Words of Stan. Nice, Stan. 
again. It's been awesome talking to you. It's always awesome seeing you. I want to wish you luck this weekend. Thank and you, again, if you guys see this cool guy, any convention, stop by, talk to Stan, the man. Look at guys. Two. Hi, guys. I'm here with Jamie Tyndall. He has some awesome uh, fan pieces here, and also, too, you worked with um, Xenoscope. Um, Jamie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, uh, welcome to New York Comic Con. I'm a Zenoscope artist. I work for IDW and Fox Studios. Uh, I've been doing covers for about six years now. As you can hear the crowd over there, that's Marvel's booth. Um, anyways, uh, I've been doing art for quite a while. You can check out my art at jamietindle.com. Definitely. Thank you, Jamie. We want to wish you good luck for Comic Con weekend. It's always good to see you. And thank you for taking the time out. Man. You're welcome. Thanks. How's everything at How's the Comic Con going for you, brother? Uh, it's been going great, man. Uh, the show's getting packed and packed every year. It's just been getting bigger. Uh, my booth is Artist Alley L3. Find my work at udonentertainment.com and edwinfuang.com. Awesome. Ed, right, it's always good seeing you, it's brother. Good, good luck this too, weekend, man. brother. I appreciate it a lot. So right now behind me is the Marvel Mighty Marvel giveaway. I usually do this every night at the uh, end of um, Comic Con. It's it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a Mighty Marvel giveaway. It's going on right behind me, and that is the law. What up? The law. How they doing? The law. <laughs> Comic Con is officially done for me. About to head into Twins Pub right behind me for Creator Aftercon. Meet some creators and everything network. Um, it's just a little bit of a chilled event. Creator Aftercon usually happens like at San Diego, New York Comic Con, and um, various other different cons. Thanks you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and um, share the video. Good one. Bye.